public key infrastructure is used to authenticate users and devices in the digital world. In this video, we will explain the basics of PKI. So, let's start with how it works in general. You are a user and you want to authenticate to a device in the network and perform a file transfer. With PKI you will use certificate authorities, once approved you will become a connected party and the connection will rely on trust to facilitate the secure transfer. Public key infrastructure is a set of processes, technologies, and policies used to authenticate users and devices wishing to transfer data in the digital world. In a nutshell, one or more parties will digitally sign documents, known as certificates, to verify that a particular cryptographic key belongs to a specific user, device, or service. Now, let's dive a little in-depth and learn how certificates work. Certificates are issued to prove the identity of these entities and include information about the PKI, the certificate holder, the certificate issuer, creation date, and other data including a public key that encrypts the transfer data between entities. A trusted third party is known as a certificate authority, CA, who also holds a private cryptographic key, will sign the document to associate, certify, and identify each entity. Each entity uses a private key to sign certificates, known only by them, and another key derived from that called the public key, which is used for verifying signatures. These keys work in pairs and can only be used with one another. Ultimately, PKI is the entire system that includes the creation, storage, and distribution of certificates that rely on public key asymmetric cryptography to function securely. Finally, let's learn the use cases where you generally use PKI. PKI is most commonly used for SSL and TLS certificates, the security protocol used for browsing the web over HTTPS. Certificates here serve to identify and ensure that the websites you connect to are what they say they are. It prevents third parties from eavesdropping on your connection and injecting harmful content known as a man-in-the-middle attack. Another big use case for PKI is IoT. PKI is used in the Internet of Things by enabling physical devices to establish trust and secure communication between one another using certificates. By now, you are familiar with PKI in general and we hope this video is informative. Let us know your feedback in the comments section below. Subscribe to Technology First for more videos. Thank you, see you in the next video. Till then keep learning.